Well, 2015 is a massive year for development. We've got the post-2015 process wrapping up in September. We've got the climate negotiations happening in uh, Paris in December. And I think the European Year Development is a great opportunity to tell the story of the progress we've been making over the last 15 years. Our premise is, is that we use EYD to really change the narrative of how people think, talk and act about international development. I think the European Year for Development is a great um, opportunity to both involve our audiences, inform our audiences. I think people get overwhelmed with statistics, they get overwhelmed with numbers when we're talking about development issues, but actually the European Year Development is about telling stories, it's about telling the stories of the impact that we're having on the ground, telling the stories of how government aid spending is making a difference. Awareness rising is a big issue, you know, to respect the partners in the world as partners, not only on the level of aid, I give something to someone, it's, it's more in general that we you know, try to get together to accept the other countries as partners on the same level. But it's also about helping us look into the future as well, and looking into the next 15 years and to ask what's the world we want to create over the next 15 years, what's the responsibility we all have as European, European citizens in creating a more just, a more equitable, a more fair society in the years to come. We're going to see it as a movement where collectively we can engage with the Irish public and try and challenge the narrative to really engage with them and to show them the results that have been achieved through development and try and kind of engage them in a new, more informative way. In the UK our focus is about trying to reach and talk to new groups. We want to make sure that everything we do about the European Year Development is about trying to reach them. So it's about working with young people, about how do we use social media, how do we use Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and Vine to get our messages out to young people, how do we help them to engage with the stories around development. We hope that we will you know, bring a lot of different stakeholders together in Germany and also with, you know, to bring them together also with uh, EU decision makers. We want to make the year as decentralised as possible, same as on the Brussels level. Uh, we have decided to give full hands-on uh, approach to our NGOs. Also, the universities are involved, rural communities are involved, so we want to go as close to the people as possible. After the year, we want Latvians to be passionate about their development and uh, actively involved in both developing the policy and changing their own habits. For us, it's, it's about um, citizen involvement. It's about um, enabling organisations and NGO to change the way they're communicating with their supporters. So success for me throughout the year is about people hearing and engaging and being challenged in what they learn as well. So success for me is about reaching those new audiences, engaging young people with diaspora communities for the first time, finding contact points to uh, link with them in a way we haven't perhaps done before. Let the media perhaps change, uh, you know, their um, general, an often general point of view, which is mostly focused on simply on development aid. So that would be the great effect if we could change that a little bit um, to general respect and awareness rising. So as an umbrella organisation for us, the sustainability of a year like this will be how NGOs communicate with the public in 2016, 2017 and beyond. Success for me is about people feeling like they can then tell their stories, tell the stories they've heard about the impact we're making around the world. In Ireland we've been involved for the past three years in this great initiative called The World's Best News which very much focuses on showcasing the results in, in development to move away from the negative stereotypes and to show that international development is actually working. Yes, yeah, so we're massively inspired by our colleagues in Denmark and their World's Best News. And it's been great to, be able to collaborate with colleagues from uh, Ireland and Denmark and the UK to talk about how we can share the stories and the resources and the synergies. And there's loads of learning we can get. Like There are lots of, very, there are lots of similarities amongst young people in the UK to Ireland to Denmark to Germany. So, working together to collaborate together to make sure we're sharing our insight, sharing the expertise, sharing the learning that we're getting throughout the year.